So you would like to create a certain look across a series of images, and you would like this look to be as consistent as it can possibly be. But you have photos that were taken on different days, different locations, with different lighting. One way to unify your pictures is by using a color lookup table, which is able to remap the colors in your photo. You can think of a color lookup table as a bunch of adjustments that change the colors in an image. In the past, color lookup tables have been extensively used by the film industry, but nowadays photographers as well can use them in Photoshop to create and invoke a certain look. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create, out of a series of adjustments, a color lookup table. And then I will apply this color lookup table to all of my images in Photoshop. Starting off from this image on the left hand side, I'm going to be adding a few adjustment layers either by clicking this little icon here at the bottom of the layers panel or using the adjustments panel here. So I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit by using one of these presets. I'm going to be adding a hue saturation to slightly change the hue of the sky that I'm selecting by clicking directly onto the image. I'm going to slightly desaturate my image by using a black and white adjustment layer and then decreasing the opacity of this layer. And as a final touch, I'm going to be tinting the shadows of this image by using a color balance adjustment layer, choosing shadows and then moving the slider to the right hand side, just like so. Maybe I can add one final adjustment layer, the exposure, to increase the offset a little. And now, as you can see, I have five different adjustment layers being applied to my background layer. And now, I'm going to be exporting these adjustment layers as one unique color lookup table. By going under the File menu, choosing Export, and then choosing Color Lookup Tables. I'm going to be typing a meaningful description here. You can increase this number right here, but if you do so, then Photoshop will take much more time to apply the color lookup table. So you will definitely have a greater uh, accuracy in terms of remapping colors, but you will have more time to wait. As for the formats, one of the most popular format is 3DL, but you can also choose ICC Profile which can be read and used interchangeably in softwares like Adobe Premiere or After Effects. Now I'm going to hit OK, type a name again for the file and hit Save. Now I saved my color lookup table and I'm going to be applying this color lookup table to uh, these two images right here. So starting from this one, this time, instead of recreating all of the adjustments, I'm only going to be clicking this icon right here in the Adjustments panel, Color Lookup Table. And from the drop-down menu that you see here, I'm going to be clicking Load 3D LUT, and then choose the Color Lookup Table that I've just saved. Now, as you can see, this image looks exactly like the image on the left hand side, they, they share the same look. So we created a consistent look between these two images. What I'm going to be doing right now is applying again this color lookup table onto this other image. This time by holding down the Alt key and simply dragging and dropping the color lookup table from this image in the center to the image on the right hand side. And when I do release the mouse button, you will see the exact same look that these three images are now sharing. And now I can actually apply this color lookup table elsewhere, for example, to other images, to other photos, to other projects, and therefore saving a lot of time in Photoshop.